down to a parent's worst nightmare, which is now the harsh reality for one local family after a trip to the water park ended in the hospital. Tonight, a five year old boy is under the watchful eye of doctors after nearly drowning in the wave pool out at Cowabunga Bay. News 3's John Trainer joins us live tonight with an update on his condition. John. Yeah, Jessica, a freak accident. That's how one witness described what she saw here this afternoon. This drowning so serious that many people at this pool did not think this young boy was going to make it. It's an eerie scene, that yellow tape stopping families from wading into the water designed for kids to play in. What happened behind that line? was horrifying to watch. Our hearts were kind of jumping. Andrea Burquist was one of dozens of mothers who looked on in shock as a young boy around the age of five suddenly went under. I think it was just one of those freak things that it kind of pulled him under and you know but for me it's like you know I, I hope he was wearing a life vest. Lifeguards acted in seconds as soon as the child went under they jumped in. A female lifeguard pregnant as Burquist tells us was the one to pull the kid out of the water unconscious and not breathing. CPR was started. So bad, Berkowitz tells us lifeguards told her the kid was likely dead. But when paramedics arrived on scene, the five-year-old was breathing out of the water, but not out of the woods. He was rushed unconscious to the hospital. Today was my son's birthday party, and I mean, I had all his friends here, and it was just devastating, and I just feel like a little bit more supervision should have been there. Now that young boy is right now recovering at St. Rose Dominican Hospital. That is where he is this evening. Cowabunga Bay are talking in the way of a press release they sent us. Their general manager telling us this. I am extremely proud of our staff and how quickly they responded to the situation. Right now our concern is with the health and well-being of those involved. That last part, I'm sure, is a sentiment echoed by many here tonight. Live, live at Cowabunga Bay, John Trainer, News 3. Got All right, John, we're sending our best to